what, what I look for in a fellowship uh, and what's important to me is uh, getting a rich clinical experience, but in the setting of a very structured program, um, having to work with wonderful mentors and great teachers, um, and all of who are enthusiastic in teaching and add male culture to that, this makes the fellowship um, not only great, but it makes it exceptional. And um, that's the Mayo Transplant Nephrology Fellowship in Arizona. I remembered uh, when I interviewed here, what struck me the most was not the uh, sheer amount of the uh, transplant that we performed, but the complexity of the cases. What is like rare and exciting like uh, that you see maybe quite a few times in other places, but here it is very common. When complexity becomes such a routine thing, it makes you perform as an independent physician. Our goal here is to create the next generation of leaders in transplant nephrology who can carry on the Mayo legacy. We have an incredible uh, team of dedicated faculty who are really invested in, in the fellow education. We foster an environment where our fellows have an opportunity to excel in all three Mayo Shields, be it achieving excellence in clinical care, be it performing impactful clinical research, or excelling as an educator. What stands out in our program is actually um, you're not just uh, required to work as a fellow, you're expected to work like a junior attending, which is uh, really good because you're given a leadership role to lead the multidisciplinary team. And that's what you get, um, what you do when you go out in the, into the field by your own. We have a great um, team of uh, PAs and NPs who help you out with uh, this whole process. So in turn, you actually get a lot of time to analyze and read up on patients and, and discuss the complexities and come up with plans by your own. So that's something that I really think uh, is one of our big strengths. So what is the uh, most uh, attractive thing about the program here is about the people in the Mayo Clinic. And then you are, you know, in the, uh, as a fellow, like you have your co-fellows and also your surgical transplant fellows and then the hepatology fellow all together in one place. And then, you know, and then so the bond that you get with them like uh, is very precious. And then you got to learn also from them like uh, in different aspect of the cases. There are plenty of uh, opportunities for the scholarly activities here in the Mayo Clinic. In the very short uh, one-year uh, training fellowship program, I was able to uh, do one uh, oral presentation and also able to uh, present several abstracts and then a poster at the uh, national conferences. Currently, I'm also uh, writing like uh, two more manuscripts to get it published. The faculties here are very supportive and then they are also easily approachable and then they are eager to mentor you and uh, help you achieve what you need. It's a fifth largest city, but it doesn't feel like it's very crowded because um, it's, everything is so spaced out. Uh, there's free parking. Uh, in most of the places. Um, and, and the biggest thing about Phoenix is uh, it, it's a medium-paced city. It's not too fast, uh, and, and, but there's enough things to do when you want, if there's outdoors things. And, and a lot of hiking and other outdoor activities, there's golfing. Um, and, and the biggest, I think, uh, my favorite part of Phoenix is the weather. Uh, it can get a little hot, but that's just you know, a month or two of the entire year. Um, I never have to wear a jacket. Phoenix is thriving in food and also the arsons. We have plenty of uh, museums around and then also the music concerts that you can go to. And then with the, uh, you know, diversity in the population, there is always something for everyone to explore and then enjoy. What is the most rewarding for me is no matter what the clinical aspiration of the fellow is, we are able to tailor it to what they want and bring out the very best. Thank you for your interest. I would love to see you training with us. <laughs>